In today's video, let's talk about rust proofing. I'm in our brand new 2021 Mazda CX-30, and I figured this would be a great opportunity to get a fresh, clean look at what Crown Rust Control can do for a car over the course of a winter. So today we're gonna to be taking this into Crown at the Croswell, Michigan location. We're gonna to talk to the owner there and he's gonna walk us through the whole process. We'll give you as much information as we can. Again, this is something that I've done to my Lexus GX460 for the past three winters and it's really kept the corrosion and rust at bay through my winter driving, through the salt. A little bit of information about Crown, it is an oil-based rust coating which means that it's very fine and it gets everywhere. They have these specialized sprayers that spray inside body panels. It works from the inside out. And uh, Crown is able to get very deep into the chassis and the frame and stop rust basically where it will start. The oil is just a carrier for the rust inhibitor, which lasts about 14 months. And in my experience, this is kind of the best solution out there for rust proofing vehicles, both new and old. Let's take you guys through the whole process. I think uh, this is a very interesting vehicle to do this on because we're starting from a fresh slate and we can really see how well this product works over the course of the next year and beyond. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful to you guys and you get some good information out of it. Let's go to Crown and see what they do. The philosophy that Crown has is the oil has to be almost as thin as water to get into the same areas water can get into. You take a, a thicker product and you spray on a door seam. Um, is it really penetrating the door seam? Is it, is it getting that door full? You gotta have a, th a real thin product and we heat the oil also so it's really thin when we spray it. So uh, that is the biggest benefit in, in my view is why the product has to be thin. Not very often do you come up with a product that does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Um, I've had hundreds of people, I don't just spray new stuff, we spray everything. Um, I have hundreds of people that have told me that since we have started spraying the rusty vehicles, the rust has stopped. So um, that's, uh, that's a pretty good feeling when you actually can stop rust on a vehicle. Not saying I can do it on every vehicle, um, but um, I've had lots of people tell me that the rust has stopped, so that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. Well, the only way to effectively get the oil in a panel is you have to drill a hole. Like in a door, for instance, we drill a 3 8 diameter hole in the, about the bottom third of the door. We don't typically like to drill a hole right in the flat right here um, because it gets a lot of abuse from your shoes and that dragging on, on, you know, your shoes across there. So this hole we drilled up here will shoot oil back to about here. So now I'm gonna drill a hole right here. And then we'll get, we'll get one up here to get the rear quarter panel. Got this little, uh, this little collar on right here so we don't dent the metal with the, uh, the chuck of the drill. It so protects the metal. And we have a five foot long door rod that goes through there. It spreads a nice fan of oil about this wide. So we kind of aim the oil upwards on the way in and then downwards on the way out. So that whole panel, that whole door panel is covered with oil. The, you know, and it slowly will, it will, uh, will creep down to the bottom of the door where all the rust starts in the bottom of the panel. Um, rocker panels, cab corners on pickup trucks. Um, you know, we drill um, a series of holes in the rocker panel. Um, we have a little tiny hook tool that will blows oil about this far. So, you know, three or four holes in a rocker panel and you, you know, you shoot oil every direction through there, that rocker panel is never going to rust. It's a little bit difficult to see inside, but this is the rubber seal they apply. And then when you're ready to do the next application the following year, all they have to do is pull that out, spray inside, and reapply it and you're good to go. So typically, every, every vehicle, we, uh, we have some pretty heavy duty silicone that Crown sells us. Um, we hose all the weather stripping down. Just keeping, keeping them wet with silicone um, does a really good job. Every once in a while, we'll get a vehicle that the weather stripping will start to look a little bit snaky. Um, doesn't really uh, hurt the integrity of the weather stripping. Uh, GM vehicles seem to be the worst for that, uh, in my experience anyway, some of the older Fords. Um, but um, if, we, if we keep them hosed down with silicone every year, we don't seem, we don't have a lot of problem with them. So, yeah, they hold up real well. The only downfall that I'm aware of is that it, it's going to drip for a few days. Um, makes, a, makes a touch of a mess, um, but no solvents in it, so therefore it, it won't stain the concrete. Um, I oil my vehicles, I take them home, park them in the garage, they drip all over the floor. A month later you can't even tell it's gone. Crown keeps it real simple. Um, any car, 130 bucks plus tax, 
um, a, a small SUV, two-door pickup, $139.95 plus tax, and anything full size is $149.95 plus tax. Three prices, they keep it real simple. The oil is just a carrier of the rust inhibitors. So after about, maybe I would say three months, you'll look underneath this vehicle and it'll look like, it'll start to look dry. Um, but the rust inhibitors cannot be washed off. Take special soap to get the rust inhibitors off. The reason you know the rust inhibitors are still there, if you, so it looks dry, and then if you take a garden hose up and spray on the bottom of the vehicle, it beads up like wax. So you'll know it, it's, it's there working. The rust inhibitors go dormant after about 14-ish months. If we wash every vehicle when we're done. Um, we just, we ask the, when you make an appointment, um, that just make sure the vehicle is clean when it comes to us. Um, because we will, if we have to, you know, start demudding the bottom, then we have to charge extra, and we try to try to keep the price low. Um, so if we just ask to bring it, bring us a clean vehicle, and we'll do the best job we can. My vehicle, I did not buy my truck new, um, but I bought it from a guy that had had um, Crown put on it when it was new. Um, the first time I saw my this truck that I bought, I told the guy, I says, you ever get ready to sell the truck, you let me know, because this is, this is, you know, I, I'll, to show people, this is what, this is how well it works. Um, this, my truck's a 05 Silverado, 227,000 dirt road miles. Um, the, the reason I say dirt road is because the calcium chloride they put on the dirt roads for dust in the summer, that is three times more corrosive than road salt. Wow. So my vehicles are, they, they get abused all the time. And um, my 05, is in better shape than most 2018s that I spray. It is spotless, original brake lines, fuel lines, suspension parts. Everybody equates this product with just body rust. Um, but if you can keep like control arm bushings from dry rotting, um, they don't wear out. Um, every suspension part on this truck is original, except the right front wheel hub. Original U-joints, tie rods, everything. Uh, 227,000 dirt road miles. All right guys, well that is the whole crown process. I really wanted to get this CX-30 done while it was new. It had no rust or corrosion on it. There was just a little bit on some of the suspension components, but it'll show at the end of the winter and in the spring just how well Crown does work. So we'll do a follow-up video at the end of the season and uh, see how it fared over the winter time. I'd highly recommend Todd and his shop here. They do a really thorough job with their applications, and uh, they're one of the earlier shops that started in the U.S. They've been open about six years, so they really know their stuff. Um, if you're in the Michigan Metro Detroit area, be sure to check them out. And wherever you live, I would highly recommend this process for your vehicle, especially if you're above the rust belt. Um, I know in my Lexus GX460, it's kept it nice and fresh and rust free the last few years when it started in a pretty good place. And for me, the hardest thing to find was a rust free Lexus GX. And uh, that's what I was able to do. And I've been able to maintain it the last three winters uh, with Crown rust proofing. And it, the easiest thing is I don't have to go under the vehicle, do it all myself and they do such a thorough job at these crown locations that it kind of takes a lot of the, the stress and the pressure off yourself to do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.